Hello my love, so I already primed my eyelid with the MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. I will now go ahead and grab the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and get that matte white eyeshadow and apply that on all over my lid just so I'm able to blend all my eyeshadows more easily instead of it looking really harsh on my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and cut that piece of scotch tape and apply that on the back of my hand just so when I apply it on my face it's not really harsh just taking it out and I'm going to be applying this on the outer corner of my eyelid all the way to the end of my eyebrow as you can see in the video. I'm going to go ahead and grab a eyeliner. The eyeliner I'm going to be using for this tutorial is going to be a liquid eyeliner. You could go ahead and use a pencil eyeliner or even a gel eyeliner it's whatever your preference is and what you feel more comfortable with as you can see i feel more comfortable with an eyeliner a liquid eyeliner so i'm going to be applying this on my crease only just so i could get that cut crease that i am looking for make sure that when you are applying this eyeliner on your crease that you start from the outer corner of your eye working into the inner corner of your eye make sure you don't drag the eyeliner all the way into the inner corner of your eye like you can see there just leave a little gap out I will now go ahead and grab a blending brush and from the same chocolate bar palette I'm gonna be using that nice looking caramel eyeshadow and applying that on the eyeliner that I had applied on the crease and I will start blending everything in blend 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 the deal in this tutorial is that you're going to be blending all the time all these colors so you could get that amazing cut crease. Using that same palette, I'm going to be grabbing that more darker brown color. And I'm going to be applying that on top of that caramel color that I have used. And I'm going to be blending everything out. And this tutorial is going to be blend, 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 blend. Now grabbing that highlight from the palette, I'm going to be highlighting my brow bone. You could go ahead and use whatever highlight you want. And then I'm going to be grabbing my more precise brush and grabbing my Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette using that black color and putting it over that eyeliner that I have created. Now you could go ahead and use whatever black you want. Just make sure it's an eyeshadow and not a liquid liner or a gel because it's going to be really hard to blend. But like I said, you could go ahead and use whatever black you want. This is the only one that I had near me. And you're just going to be going over it and then after that you're going to be blending everything so it doesn't look very harsh and it looks very blendable. Now grabbing a pencil brush, I'm going to be going more into detail into that black just because I really want to blend it out more so it doesn't look very very harsh on my eyelid. In this part, you have to be really careful. I'm going to be using my MAC Paint Pot and Painterly, and I'm going to be applying this on my eyelid only. The reason why I'm using a creamy eye base is because I do want the eyeshadow to be more pigmented, and I want it to pop out even more. But you could go ahead and use an eyeshadow right after, or if you want, you could go ahead and use any cream base that you want. Now I'm going to be blending everything with my finger and grabbing that same white matte color that I've used at the beginning and applying that on the lid and then grabbing that beautiful champagne pinky color on the same chocolate bar palette I'm gonna be applying that on the lid just so it could give it a touch of pop and I'll be putting that all over the eyelid grabbing that same precise brush I'm gonna be going over that black because I did feel like the black faded away while I was blending too much but you, you could go ahead and add more black if you want to or add less black if you want to it's really up to you now I'm gonna go ahead and do my wing liner the biggest tip in this case is to leave that scotch tape on if you want to get that perfect wing liner that you've been looking for and that's what I did I left the scotch tape on and I just went for it and started doing my wing liner 
If you want to go ahead and see a tutorial on how to do a wing liner, comment down below. Now, taking out that scotch tape, I'm going to go ahead and use that same brush that I used for my foundation and apply that on the place where I put the scotch tape because of course the scotch tape left a mark. Now I'm going to go ahead and conceal my under eyes and I'm going to be using my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer and my MAC Mineral just to give it that nice highlight underneath. Now to set my under eye, I'm going to be using my Holy Grail setting powder, which is the RCMA No Color Powder. It's a 10 ounce powder, which was for 20 bucks, I believe. It's an amazing translucent powder and I will recommend this powder for you guys. I feel like this is the bomb.com. Now I'm going to go ahead and conceal my T-zone and of course set it with the same powder. Now grabbing that same Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette, I'm going to be grabbing that navy blue and I'm going to be applying that underneath my eyes just to give it a little bit of pop of color to my eyes. And I'm going to be using a more precise brush for it. Now that I'm done applying that, I'm going to go ahead and contour my face and finish doing everything. So I'll be back in a minute. So this is my finishing look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I try to make it very simple and easy for you guys to make at home. You could go ahead and use whatever palette you want. It's not You don't have to necessarily have the same palettes that I have. But I really enjoyed doing this tutorial for you guys. It's very glamorous, very unique. Well, a lot of people have done it before, but it's very dramatic very edgy looking very fancy nancy so you could go ahead and create it if you want to and without further ado i hope you guys really enjoy this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment like and subscribe i love you guys and i'll see you to the next time